Today's topic is discrete cosine transform DCT. It is similar to DFT discrete Fourier transform. In both DCT and DFT, the time domain input signal is converted to frequency domain in both these cases. But the difference in both these cases is that in DFT we have complex terms and in DCT we have only real terms. And both DCT and DFT are sinusoidal functions. Now we are going to see 2D and 1 dimensional DCT. F of x is our input image. This is a 1 dimensional. Only 1 dimension is this. Its DCT is F of u similar to DFT. And 2 dimensional signal is represented by F of x, y and its corresponding DFT is F of u, v. And now we are going to find the function for 1 dimensional and 2 dimensional. 1 dimensional function is equal to C into F. C is the cosine transform matrix into our input signal F of x in the case of 1 dimensional and F of x y in the case of 2 dimensional. In the case of 2 dimensional F is equal to C into F into C transpose. These are similar to Hadamard transform, hard wash transforms, the pattern. C into F in for one dimensional and here C into F into C transpose. The C matrix is cosine transform matrix. We, will, we are now going to look how to form this cosine transform matrix. For that we have the equation C is equal to 1 by root 10 for U equal to 0. When V varies from 0 less than or equal to V less than or equal to N minus 1. And C is equal to, we have an equation, root of 2 by n cos pi into 2v plus 1 into u by 2n. When u varies from 1 to n minus 1 and v varies from 0 to n minus 1. So now we are going to see how it, this is formed. For n equal to 4, C is this matrix. And u and v are here. u is represented in this direction and v represented in this direction. Both u and v vary from 0 to n minus 1. So, when you, n equal to 4, u varies from 0 to 3, n minus 1 and v also varies from 0 to n minus 1, 0 to 3. So, this is our matrix. Now, we are going to see how to write this matrix. So, when u equal to 0, when u equal to 0 and when v varies from 0 to n minus 1 and v varies from 0 to n minus 1, we have the value 1 by root n. Here we have n equal to 4. So 1 by root 4 equal to 1 by 2 equal to 0 0.5. So the first row becomes 0.5 itself. When u equal to 0, it becomes 1 by root 10. So it is 0.5 in when u equal to 0. And the next case is when u varies from 1 to n minus 1. When u varies from 1 to n minus 1 and v also varies from 0 to n minus 1. V varies from 0 to n minus 1. That means from this much of matrix we require this equation the equation is root 2 by n cos pi 2v plus 1 into u by 2n now we are going to see how to write this matrix so when u equal to 0 and when v varies from 1 to 3 we have 1 by root n and here we have the equation root n by root 2 by n cos this thing when u varies from 1 to n minus 1 and 0 to n minus 1 when we substitute u equal to 0 and u equal to 1 and v equal to 0 in this equation we get here it is root 2 by 4 it becomes 1 by root 2 cos 2 cos pi into this becomes 0 v equal to 0 u equal to 1 2 into 4 so when we solve for that we get the equation 0, 0, 0.65 and when u equal to 1 and v equal to 1 substitute in that we get 0.27 so now we are going to see how it will form the remaining so it is a time consuming by substituting all the values and find the entire matrix so there is a shortcut method we have to fold it into into two so we take the mirror image so this becomes 0.27 and this becomes 0.65 and the third row is same as the first row and third row becomes 
point five point five point five point five and the last row is same as first row only these two terms are exchanged so last row is same as second row but these two elements are interchanged and here also it is interchanged now we get our c matrix now take this as a reference element 1 1 is as a reference element and its horizontal direction vertical direction and diagonal direction have sign changes so its horizontal direction elements have negative sign its vertical dimension elements have negative sign and diagonal has negative sign so this is our final c matrix cosine transfer matrix this reference element has positive sign only its horizontal elements diagonal elements and vertical elements have negative sign for n equal to 2 also u varies from 0 to 1 u, u a and b varies from 0 to n minus 1 0 1 0 1 when u equal to 0 and when b varies from 0 to n minus 1 we have 1 by root 10 1 by root 2 that is equal to 0 0.707 0 0.707 0 .707. and when u equal to 1 and v varies from this we have this equation substitute for n we get this matrix it is easier to remember 0 0.07 0 0.07 0 0.07 and here it has minus 0 0.07 only minus in this all the magnitudes are same only one sign change in the last element now we are going to look into problems find the density of the sequence x of n 11 22 33 44 it is a ktu university question asked in april 2018 so it is a one dimensional signal so equation is f equal to z into f we know what is c first row is 0 0.5 third row is also 0 0.5 and second row is 0 0.65 and 0 0.27 it is folded 0 0.27 and 0 0.65 and last row is same as second row only the elements are interchanged and sign changes when take this as reference in horizontal direction vertical direction and in diagonal direction signs are changed so we get c matrix and it is multiplied by f and here we have the order of c equal to 4 by 4 so this matrix has to be in the order 4 by 1 then only multiplication is possible and the resultant matrix has the order 4 by 1 when we multiply Yes, we get our result next is find the dct of a two dimensional image f of m is equal to this 1 2 2 1 2 1 2 1 1 2 2 1 2 1 2 1 for that we have the equation f equal to c into f into c transpose we know c we know f and we have to find c transpose here in discrete cosine transfer the cosine transfer matrix is not symmetrical Hadamard and wash transfer matrices are symmetrical but cosine matrix is not symmetrical so you have to find first first row is converted to first column second row converted into second column third co row converted into third column fourth row converted into fourth column multiply these two we get this matrix multiply that with this c transfer we get the final answer so you have to do it as homework